I've got some animals I spotted in America and for some reason I thought it'd be funny to photograph them. Yeah, here goes. I want to be the best there ever was. The best naturalist, yeah, that's my cause. Not snake, come on, white dog, bullfrog, city skimmer, red is like a fox squirrel, Texas, spiny lizard, great dick, rock, feature, bats, Carolina, Anna, green top, bee, parakeet, common used to firefly. This <laughs> is so cool. Literally, this is the first time I've seen a firefly and it's on my face. Spot em, spot em, gotta spot em all. Animals, I said, across the land. Look near and far. Phone in my hand to record where they are. But wait, don't species have Latin names, I hear you ask? Well, yes, they do. So here's the few from San Francisco wrapped in Latin. You're welcome. You might treat as Orbis, Phalus, Catus, Anablets, Anablets, Paracapturus, Hepatus, Sanicita, Prisita, Zalapus, Californianus, Pelicanus, Octodentitalis, Californicus. Yes, did it. Next stop, Washington State. Let's find water types. Harbor seal, kill deer, sunflower, sand dollar, ochre, starfish, golden eye, foolish muscle, oyster, barn swallow, heart, conger, stellar's jay, rock, the gunnel, bagel, shrimp, ribbon, worm, breakfast, front, bald eagle! Gotta spot them all, gotta spot them all, yeah! Gotta track them all, gotta track them all, yeah! Got to spot them all, animals! Manila crab, varnish crab, Pacific little neck clam, sugar crab, purple sugar crab, hairy, hermit crab, blue heron, barnacle, hummingbird, dockers girl, Lewis's moon snail, Pacific gooey duck! Spot em, spot em, gotta spot em all. Got to spot em all, animal. Track em, track em, gotta track em all. Got to track em all, animal. Log em, log em, gotta log em all. Got to log em all, animals! Do you like Pokemon Go? Do you like catching animals with your smartphone? Are you fed up with the server crashes and the glitches? Well, why not catch real animals on your phone with iNaturalist, the latest in natural history apps. No, seriously, this isn't actually an advert, but I was in America and I thought, I got all these amazing photos of the amazing animals I saw there. And then I got back home and everyone was just obsessed with catching Pokemon on their phones. And yet none of these people that were obsessed with their phones had and finding animals and catching them and going out and walking and looking for them had ever taken an interest in natural history, but it's the same thing. So this whole video is just to say, if you like Pokemon Go, why not look for real animals at the same time? So I'm, there are loads of different apps and websites you can use. There's a big spreadsheet down below that someone else made, thank you. Um, but the two that I would really recommend, if you're in the UK, iSpot is the original and it's amazing. If you want any kind of animal identified for you, add it to iSpot. But if you really like Pokemon Go, iNaturalist is the one for you. Like I said, they haven't sponsored me to make this video, but I started using this app and I love it. So the point is, is that you're going out in the wild and you're finding these animals. So you take a photo of the animal and use your phone's GPS to tag the location of it. Don't worry, you can blur it out for privacy reasons. Um, and then add it to a map. So you can even see where all the animals are in your area and find them and go and catch them, log them. And this is the best bit, is that if you log them on the app, then scientists, actual scientists, get to use the information from your phone, from you running around playing, catching these animals, in real citizen science, and it makes a big difference. If you don't know the ID of the animal, there's this button you can press that says, help me ID it. So you don't even have to be an expert to go out and help the experts. And you can take part in challenges. You can be on the best naturalist there is. Um, and yeah, go out, enjoy your Pokemon Go. But if you're there and you spot something cool, why not add that record and help science? Don't actually catch them and stick them in little balls. I don't think ethics would have a good time with that.